Hey, Math Models. I hope you're doing well. The demonstration today is different than math knowledge. This is math skill. So the topic we've talked about in class has been preparing for perhaps your first job this summer. Remember, the name of the course is Mathematical Models with Application. It's that with application that's my favorite part of the class. And I have had students return to me years after they took math models and tell me, Mr. Mitchell, you know, I made a decision over the summer. I changed jobs. And there were some things in math models that helped me do that. Maybe they advanced in salary. Maybe they quit one place with a good reference. And they went to another location to work and made more money. So this with applications part, I'm trying to find application to your real life. Okay, I'm gonna take my picture away and I'm gonna demonstrate how to make cash in class at the moment we have a cash drawer, real cash coins and paper dollar bills. Okay, I'm gonna demonstrate how to make change and the version you're gonna see here is the most common I see at retail and fast food here in Rockport, it is counting up. Here we go, should be a short video, just to give you a demonstration a few times on making change. All right, I'm gonna take my video away. Well, I went to the bottom corner. Let's see if I can do it left-handed. Okay, all right. I'm gonna bring in a uh, piece of paper from the left it gives me my cost. All right, so that's like getting a bill. You just got a bill for something you picked up at Taco Bell this evening. It says $4.91. Bam, here's your money. Down goes the five. In a retail situation, people often take the bill that's been handed to them and they lay it across, all right? Maybe they lay it across right there so they can count up the change. So remember, my cost is $4. $4.91. I need to make change on a five. No, I think I can do that. I'm counting up 4.91. That's in hundredths. Well, let me see. In 0.91, I'm going to start counting up my pennies. 92, 93, 94, 95, 9 cents. 9 makes 5. So this is what I would hand back to somebody that just given me a $5 bill. Their change would be nine cents. Okay, that wasn't bad. But let's try it again. Taking this one away. This time, somebody hands me a 10. Well, it cost us $4.91. And they've given me a 10. All right, I'll lay the 10 across. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to make up the difference to my $5 bill here. And then because they gave me the 10, I need to remove the 5 and I hand them back their change. Here's your change, sir. $5.09, the change off 10. Realize we're counting up. We start with the cost. Then we start adding singles until we get to a different unit. One, two, three, four gets me to 95. Five cents gets me to $5. Five more dollars gets me to that 10. Okay, not bad, not bad. Put the 10 back in there, put five in here. Here we go with another demonstration. Mm. How about, here's your bill. It costs us 66 cents. And then, as you might, a common bill in the wallet, 20 bucks. All right, they gave me the 20. In comes the 20. I lay it across so I don't get confused. This is what I'm making my change on. And remember, let's see, $14.66. I'm going to have to think. 67. He dropped the penny. Okay, 67, 68, 69, 
70. I've met plenty of people that count out loud. There's my 70 cents. 75 cents. Reach over and a quarter makes $15. Remember, my cost is $14.66. With this change, I have gone 67, 68, 69, 70, 75, a quarter. That makes 15. I need to remove a five. There's change on the 20. So it comes out to $5.34. Now, if you work at a place like McDonald's, the cash register will, of course, do the math for you. You put in what the change item was, $20, and out comes what you're supposed to pay back. But in the retail world, say at Fulton Market Days, you're likely going to be doing this kind of math. So if you and I went down to Fulton Market Days and we sold orange juice, glasses of orange juice with a little bit of tax, we'd be making unusual amounts of change here. The easiest way, the recommended way to do it, and it's part of how they teach math to children these days, is to count up my ones. This satisfies my tens place and or my fives place. I have 25 cents. I bolted that to $5 and I finished my change on the 20 with five more dollars. So this went, sorry, this went to 15. That went to 20. Okay. Mr. Mitchell confused things there for a second. Put some money back in the drawer. Let's try another one. Bill comes in. Mm, this sounds like maybe uh, a lunch cost at Popeye's Chicken here in town. It costs seven dollars and forty-eight cents. So instead of the twenty, you know, I'd probably hand them ten if I had it in my wallet. Here's my bill. Here's my payment. Forty-eight cents. Mm, Forty-nine. 50, there's $8, this 52 cents takes this number to $8, 9, and 10, and this is what I would hand over. All right, just demonstrating today making change from a cash drawer. If you haven't been in class yet this year, these are the kinds of things we are practicing that are math skills. Math skills, not just math knowledge. People that do this in their job in retail do this dozens to hundreds of times, hundreds of times a day. And the thinking part, when they think, it actually makes them smarter. Up till the age of 24, you can close more neurons you can close more neurons in your brain if you do math in your head. That's what I'm telling you. My favorite Christmas present of the year was the poster that is right behind me. Education is not the learning of facts, but the training of the mind to think. Doing math in your mind makes you smarter. So maybe this gives you a little confidence when you go in for that job interview next summer. And they said, do you have any retail experience? You said, this is my first job, but I'm ready to do that. I'm ready to run the cash register. And I've actually practiced. We did it in the math class I took over here at Rockport Fold. That's the demonstration I have for you today. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.